Like what you're hearing in season three? Let's go, let's go. Let's go. It's let's the go. new Def Jam soundtrack drop, let's and go. you are let's hearing go. it first let's before go. anyone else in the world. Let's go. That's right, tracks by Saint Bodie. When lock in my target and get it. Sign no vision undefeated. Zero seven zero shake. I'm so androgynous, I keep confusing them. Think I'm up. I want like two of them. Gunde Garcon. By no rider. Hello and welcome to Saturday Night with the NBA on 2K Sports. Allie, it's all yours. Hey, Brian, you could say the alley-oop is perhaps the game's most... Oh, yeah, he's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. And the Lakers starting five. We've got LeBron James. MP is out there with Russell Westbrook. And then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Ariza in a small forward. And for the Warriors, Curry and Thompson are the one and the two. James Wiseman is out there with Kaminga. And it's Heal in at the three. Well, here we are at midseason now, Grant. How do players mentally cope with the grind of an NBA season? That's a good question, B.A. I mean, you have to find ways to take your mind off of things as a team. Having outlets helps distract you. It's so important for players as they endure the lengthy season. And some great news for MP. He'll be at All-Star Weekend participating in the Rising Stars game. And that's a huge honor in this league. Getting selected to play in that event is well-deserved. MP has a very bright future. It's good. Awareness of what the defense is trying to do. Steph plays that one perfectly. Pass to Ariza. Down low. To the paint. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things. Playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. And here are the Warriors now. Thompson outside. The offensive rebound. It's good on the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Pass to MP. Westbrook against Thompson. Now here's Davis. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Just an assertive play from MP down low. Getting around the contact and right to the bucket. Westbrook against Curry. And it's good for two. Curry's got a second basket. Soft touch on the finger roll. Always such a pretty shot. Westbrook outside. Pass to Ariza. Here's James. 
Inside. Here's MP. That shot missing. Curry with some nice D. And here's Heald. Shot is up. Again, Golden State. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. The Lakers have gone two or four so far. Back to Ariza. James up top. Shot clock at six. Got a piece of it. Curry with a steal. Here we go. One on one. Right side heel. LeBron with the rebound. The Lakers trail. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. Now here's Heald. In the game against New York, very impressive. Heald on the wing. Here's the three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Heald's got his second basket of the night. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. At times, some have doubted Curry's legacy. Hard to make a case against him, though, in my opinion. I agree, B.A. He has produced in every capacity. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. Now here's Curry. We saw him with 39 points last game. Thompson outside. to Curry. The three. Rebound. The Lakers coming off a win against the Blazers. They were lights out from beyond the arc and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. Yep. Made the defense work extremely hard and did a nice job of getting any advantage they could against the team that shot it well. Drills it from deep. Curry's got seven points in the game. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. You know, Jonathan Kaminga has a terrific build for NBA action. He's got height and a seven-foot wingspan, combined with a lot of quickness and athleticism. Los Angeles shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. To the middle. Here's MP. Curry with a steal. The foul called on MP. MP. That's his first That's foul his of the game. Foul. First Now the Warriors with it. They're on a 14 to 4 run. Curry against Westbrook. Now here's Curry. Defense is right there. Basket's good. He's got nine. Well, Grant, where you really see Kaminga put his physical gifts to use is on defense. Oh, that's right. He sticks to his man like glue and also has a great nose for the boards. He was collecting a very respectable amount of rebounds down there in the G League. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. That's his you know, LeBron is good at the fundamentals, but just so great at reading where the rebound is coming off and grabs that one for a second chance opportunity. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Warriors? Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. That free throw, good from James. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. Now here's Curry. He's got nine. And here's Heald. And Davis with the block. Phenomenal defense by Anthony Davis to spike that shot back. He'd make a heck of a volleyball player. Here's Ariza. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Gets the three ball to go. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Greg. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Paul Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Oh, it's just waiting threes for them early. To the inside, MP. And that one comes off MP. the assist by Westbrook. He's just two for seven from the field, trying to work his way into a rhythm. Pass to Curry. Over Westbrook. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Got it. James has gotten a second bucket on the night. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And Thompson gets it to go. Outstanding long-range shooting here early. They already have hit multiple shots from downtown. Now James. What a tremendous game he played against Portland. To the paint. Let's it fly. MP no good. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Here's Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Well, LeBron makes a million decisions a moment out there on the floor. That time, another good one. Curry from deep three-point land. Rebounded by the Lakers. James has got four rebounds in the game. MP, the pass to Westbrook. Pass to James. Shoots over Thompson. And there's James on the assist by Westbrook. Now just a four-point Warrior lead. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Thompson passes to Wiseman. Heel to the ball. Ariza's there. Outside Curry. Jacks up a three. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Down low. Here's MP. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Here's Curry. Count that bucket. Curry's got 17. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Westbrook drives. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Here's Kaminga. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Curry with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Shot is good by Curry. And now a nine-point Warrior lead. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. And that one's good. James. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Now a timeout called by Golden State. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. They were allowed to ramp up their offense as the defense they faced was barely present. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for Anthony Davis. Anthony comes in for LeBron. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for Ariza. And Nunn is subbed in for MP. And that one's good. Cool. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Now here's Anthony, taking a look at his production, averaging just over eight points a game. And here's Westbrook from the arc. 
And they recover it. Another shot. Anthony with a bucket. And can't allow that much separation, even as the pass is coming his way. Try and crowd Carmelo as best you can. None against Poole. And here's Thompson for three. And the Warriors with another three. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Pass to Horton Tucker. Back to Westbrook. Dunn finds Westbrook. And he lobs it up to the rim. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Wiggins outside. On the wing, Thompson. Over Westbrook. Thompson, no good. Los Angeles has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Anthony misses. And he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. The Lakers shooting with confidence in this one. 48% in the first quarter. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. They went to Los Angeles for their last meeting with the Lakers and came out with the victory. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. They were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. And the Lakers have possession following the score by Golden State. On the attack, none. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. So both teams changing it up here. Kendrick Nunn. Count the line for one. Warriors leading. Pass to Toscano. Outside Porter. It's Wiggins on the wing. Porter with it. Pool from long range. Howard grabs the miss. And 101 left in the first quarter here. None. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Great to see when Melo spots his open teammate. Good at noticing the overcommitment that time. None against Poole. Ooh, Howard with a block. Left side, none. Outside, Monk. Pass to Horton Tucker. Howard inside. He's against Wiseman. Here's none. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Nunn's got a perfect three for three so far. Here's Poole. Misses off the right iron. The Lakers trail. Outside Monk. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. We'll be back in a moment. He can be a one-man army, rebounding, scoring, and assisting. But Russell Westbrook knows he's got to rally those around him to win. We got to do it together. And I think that's more important than scoring any points or doing anything else is, is leadership. And uh, that's where I got to find my, my niche and uh, try to lead the guys. Westbrook is all about winning, Grant. Yes, he is. And his teammates will tell you as well. For all the stats he piles up at the end of the day, 
can light it up from three-point range. You ever think about how well suited you would be to the modern game? There are nights, BA. There are long nights where I can't sleep dreaming about playing in some of these systems. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter, and it's getting them to the free throw line. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Warriors have had a big problem committing fouls. Coach Steve Kerr has drilled them on moving their feet, not getting baited into the cheap ones. He said, quote, we talk about it every day. And Stephen Curry said, quote, it's on all of us to hold each other accountable, being in the right position. Yep, and that's why he is who he is. Good stuff, Al. That one falls. And it's a six-point Warrior lead. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Pass to Ariza. Now here's none. And here's James. He's guarded by Porter. Inside. Just five on the clock. MP shot is off. Defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. The Warriors have gone four for seven in the second quarter. On the wing, Curry. None defends. Heald passes to Curry. Over none. Curry's shot is off. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. To the middle. MP's shot is good. Assistant. MP's got eight. Uh, Ariza's been in the league a long time, so a great job of reading the defense with some rhythm that time. Wiggins outside. Pass to Porter. Curry against none. Outside heel. And he lobs it up. And credit Buddy on that play. The correct read setting up his teammate. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Here's Davis. He's guarded by Porter. The jump hook. Davis with the bucket. Getting it done inside. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Curry against none. Curry passes to Heal. Over James. No good. And it's the Lakers the other way. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. And that'll launch a four-game homestand for them. But the combination of power and finesse it just is automatic when LeBron gets down low. One of the most efficient paint players in the game. Curry. That's good. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Back to none. Six on the shot clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Davis. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Davis has got his third basket on the night right there. Heald passes to Porter. Here's Wiggins. Heald drives in. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his you know, when Buddy Heald came into the league, he joined a select list of current and former NBA players that hail from the Bahamas. It's not a long list, but it's longer than you might think. And what's incredible is Buddy did a fantastic job for the relief effort in the Bahamas after the devastating hurricane in 2017. His work to raise funds and resources for the people who were affected was so important to that entire nation. Yep, that one goes. James has got 13. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Curry passes to Porter. Here's Kaminga. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. On the wing, Porter. Curry against Westbrook. Shot is good by Curry. The Lakers have gotten eight of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Westbrook outside. 
Pass to Davis. Inside. That's tipped. Porter, the pass to Heald. The three from Thompson. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got four assists in the game. Yeah, that is Thompson's shot. Just a great rhythm shooter and fully confident in his perimeter game. Westbrook, the pass to James. Back to Westbrook. Called in by Curry. Golden State has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. And Davis with the block. To the inside. Here's Ariza, guarded by Heald. The turnaround jumper. Chalk up two there. Ariza's got his second bucket of the game. Ariza's ability to shake loose that time gave him enough room to squeeze one off. Timeout called. The Warriors. Well, Anthony Davis helped rescuing the Lakers from some lean years. In the six seasons prior to his arrival, they'd missed the playoffs more times than in the previous 65 years of the franchise. And a year after they got him, they're hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. And now with his new contract, he should help them compete for a long time to come. Howard's checked in for the Lakers. Here's Curry. An easy two on the layup. Curry's got eight here in this quarter. Well, the kitchen is open. Chef Curry's getting it done right now. And, man on fire Westbrook outside back to James he buries it from three James has got 16 points James so quick there on the draw you gotta know he's ready to shoot as soon as he's gonna catch that pass now here's Thompson he had 25 points in the win against New York. Here's Heald. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Wiseman, he's checked in for Porter Jr. Coming out of the floor for your Warriors, James Wiseman. Westbrook finds James. Thompson against Westbrook. Down low. Here's MP. That's good. MP. And so Westbrook assist with the assist. Russell. Westbrook's got five assists tonight. Yeah, great court awareness. Westbrook sizing up the D and doing a good job of locating the open man. Curry against Westbrook. Curry, no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. MP, no good. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Westbrook against Thompson. And the Warriors miss again. Los Angeles has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Shoots from the right block. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by MP. Davis has got six in the quarter. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside heel. Three-pointer. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got his fifth rebound in this one. MP drives in. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Golden State has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Heald passes to Curry. Over James. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Davis finds James. Westbrook outside. Shoots over Curry. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. 
Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Second half underway. Here's who Frank Vogel's got on the floor. They've got MP, LeBron James out there with Trevor Ariza. Then there's Russell Westbrook, and it's Davis in at the five. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Trailblazers was tremendous. He scored 32 points, and plus, he nabbed a couple boards. He stepped up his game tonight, and you could tell his teammates loved seeing him go to work. Guys? All right, Allie, thanks for the update. It'll be interesting to see if he can heat up once again tonight, Grant. Yeah, you know he wants to do exactly this, B.A. Just needs to continue to play with the same fire and energy. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. Here's Davis. Cash. Anthony it's MP Davis. picking up the assist. Davis has got 10 points. You can't leave someone open on MP squad because he's solid at recognizing the overcommitment. Outside Curry. Curry draws the double. Pass to Kaminga. Heald from outside. Hits the trifecta. 12 points for him. Heald can make a living out there from behind the arc. Doesn't need a lot of room to get his shot off. And he drains that one with ease. Westbrook, the pass to James. Here's Ariza. Guarded by Heald. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. And nobody putting out much of an effort to stop him. Surprising in a close game, a lack of energy on defense. On one side, inspiration. Mm -hmm. On the other, devastation. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. And there's the lob, and it's Wiseman with the jam. That's what happens. You play up on Curry too much, and then he finds an angle, delivers the ball. Devastating pick and roll. Pass to Westbrook. Wiseman against Davis. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. To the paint. Here's Kuminga. Rejected by James. Well, LeBron using his big mitts there. It comes in handy on defense. Getting up there to spike that one away. Now here's Davis. Guarded by Wiseman. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on James Wiseman. First team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. And the first one at the line is good. Well, as good as AD already is, to think that there's still upside to his game, it's, it's really remarkable. Athletic, talented, and continues to work hard to maximize his talents. Both free throws good from Davis. The Warriors have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Curry against Westbrook. And here's Thompson for three. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Inside. Curry with the block. Curry, great timing on the block, catching his man off guard with a big time rejection. Pass to MP. Down to five on the shot clock. The fader. And again, no good by the Lakers. The Warriors trailing. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. This is why Steph Curry is virtually unguardable. And he's sinking those kind of shots. It just devastates you defensively. The Lakers call timeout. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. Horton Tucker comes in for MP. Pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Ariza. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
That's Clay Thompson picks one up. Known as a defensive team specialist team. for many years, it's the ability the for Ariza still to consistently Trevor be a threat Ariza. out there from the three-point the line, especially from the corners. The first free throw is good. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. And the Lakers also making a change. Jordan's checked in for Davis. Both shots good from the strike. Golden State has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Wiseman. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Here's Curry. And he banks in the layup. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. Steph so good at finishing through contact. Just phenomenal perseverance to get it up and in. Last year, Brent Curry climbing the ranks on all-time made threes. Incredible to see how fast he's ascended the totem pole. Well, the question's going to be, B.A., is, is how big will that lead be once it is that Steph Curry retires? It's almost like Stockton and the, the Steel's numbers. Nobody's touching John Stockton's Steel numbers. I feel the same way with Curry's three ball. Anthony, the pass to Westbrook. Now Jordan, down low. And it's Westbrook that time on the assist by Jordan. Now it's a four-point Laker lead. Don't say this much about guards, but big boy strength there as Westbrook does not give in to the aggressive defense. Here's Kaminga. Thompson outside. Another three for Golden State. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Ariza. And here's Westbrook. Here's Horton Tucker. He's covered by Curry. Jordan with it. Here's Horton Tucker. Puts up a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Now just all alone down there. Credit goes to DeAndre for finding him. That's a nice pass. Thompson with it. He's got 12. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, he settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. Here's Ariza, hounded by Wiggins. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Ariza. Gordon Tucker on the wing. Yep, that one goes. Gordon, Tucker. Gordon Tucker's got seven. He's a decent passer at his position. DeAndre Jordan with a solid understanding of what happens on that play and how he can keep players involved. Curry draws the double. The three from Thompson, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got his sixth assist of the night. Westbrook outside. Gordon Tucker on the wing. Out to the right wing. Here's Jordan. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. Golden State has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. For the lead, another three for Golden State. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Back to Westbrook. Seventeen foot shot on the way. Boy, oh, clanks Russell, that one off Westbrook. the back iron and it falls. Westbrook's got his third bucket of the night. Well, that's a shot that Westbrook has learned to use well. When he's hitting that one, it's going to open up some lanes later in the game. The shot is good by Curry. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. 
Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. Yeah, this guy is torching them. And so far, their defense hasn't responded. some changes here and the Lakers have possession it's a three-point game Thompson against none Gordon Tucker on the wing he's got seven here's Howard and the layup is good Howard loves getting position down that deep knowing he's a force in the paint. Poole, the pass to Thompson. Here's Toscano. Monk covers. Doubled by Dunn on the wing porter. Pass to Thompson. Poole for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stephen. It is a thing of beauty, Ali. Excellent. The shot from 20 feet out. Thompson's shot is off. The Lakers in the lead. Anthony right side. The shot off that time. Great D that time from Porter. Here's Wiggins. Here's Toscano. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with the basket. And the Warriors lead by one. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Gordon Tucker on the wing. Nine points in the game. Here's Howard. Great D that time for Porter. The Warriors shooting around 53%. A nice number. Wiggins finds Poole. With some arc. That shot off the mark. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Pass to Howard. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And you know how physical Howard is down there. When he's going up with his shot, he is expecting contact. Two shots. off on the first. And Howard knows exactly what he's out there to do. Defend, rebound the ball, and be aggressive in the paint. And the Warriors making a switch here. Heald's checked in. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. James comes in for Horton Tucker. He hits the second from the line. And shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front, but at least they're tied up. Pass to Toscano. Now healed. To the middle. Ooh, Howard with a block. Well, Dwight Howard still makes you think about your shot attempts. Easily leaping up to throw that one away.
Six to shoot. The kick out to Wiggins. Healed from outside. I like the way LeBron uses his body sometimes on the defensive end. Is not afraid to get a little bit physical, especially after all that bumping he takes on the offensive end. High post Davis. Porter's there. James passes to Howard. Yep, that one's good. Howard. Howard's got five. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. To the inside. Here's Porter. Excellent D there from Davis. Los Angeles has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. James, right side. Fades back. Outside Monk. Pass to Nunn. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. To the paint. It's stolen by Howard. Monk against Heald. Here's Davis. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. And it's a six-point Los Angeles lead. Yeah, you think you have AD rooted out, but he can use his length, and use his size, and get another rebound. Outside quarter. They need this. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the Anthony line for two. Davis. It's going to be on Anthony That's Davis. His personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Otto Porter. At the line for two. And he drops a first. MP's checked in for Monk. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Los Angeles shooting 56% today. From the baseline. Here's Howard. Good. And the assist goes to MP. MP's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Lakers foul. MP. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. First free throw is good. Andrew Wiggins taking two. And Wiggins drops them both. James, outside. He got it up. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. The Lakers on top, leading by five. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. They've got Buddy Heald, Jordan Poole out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Otto Porter, and it's Toscano in at the five spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Warriors basketball. The Warriors trailing. Here's Wiggins. Yes, sir. That's what you took it out right there. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. The Warriors shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Pass to Toscano. Now here's Heal from behind the arc. The Lakers with a rebound. 
Howard's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. And it's the Warriors with the ball. They trail by seven. Back to Poole. Let's it go from 11. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. He gets inside right when he sees the opening. Got to attack when you have that chance. Healed against James. Pass to Davis. Who poked away. Gets stolen by Heal. And Davis with the block. MP finds James. Now Davis. Hounded by Wiggins. MP. That one falls. MP. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got three assists tonight. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. We've seen them make the extra effort defensively, rotating, closing out airspace, and sending shots back. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. James passes to Davis from the left block. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And the basket by Heal. Well, the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. And there's Howard. That one's good on the assist from Nunn. Nunn's got six assists in the game. Golden State has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Golden State calls timeout. Who's coming out onto the court? You have on your feet and welcome your work. Some changes now for the Lakers. Ariza comes in for Howard, and it's Russell Westbrook in for none. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He was harping on the number of offensive rebounds that they've given up. He told them they have to recommit to the defensive class. He said, quote, we're not walking away with the W if we don't box out. Simple message, guys, but an important one. Okay, thanks, Allie. Pass to Ariza. Now MP. Back to Ariza. Now Davis. Five to shoot. James double team. Kicks it out to Westbrook. He tries for three. A rebound by Wiggins. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. Pass to Kaminga. Curry with it to take the lead. And the Warriors with another three. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Here's Ariza. Here's James. Hits the close-range jumper. James has got four points now in the quarter. LeBron staying on the attack here. Knows when he can take over the game. It's whenever he wants to. Here's Curry. Here's Wiseman. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Wiseman! And the Warriors lead by one. Oh, this one has turned into an absolute nail-biter. Yeah, at this point, you almost expect it to come down to the last possession. Westbrook against Curry. Westbrook, that's good. Well, we talk about Westbrook and the athleticism he has, but sometimes, tactically, he approaches those pick-and-rolls quite well. Curry passes to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Fires the three. Another three for Golden State. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. Back to Westbrook. MP outside. Inside. James. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. 
Wiseman's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Heald. Rebound by the Lakers. Pass to James. Fader on the way. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. Curry's got four rebounds in the game. It's Wiggins on the wing. Checked by Davis. Wiggins passes to Wiseman. That one's wide left. The Lakers have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Down low. Here's Davis. Two points. That one goes. Davis has got ten points here in the second half. Oh, I'll tell you what. In this fourth quarter, he's been locked in and has made some big shots for his team. For Los Angeles, they've gone seven for 11 so far in the fourth. MP, the pass to Davis. Back to MP. Here's Ariza. With the 10-footer. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. Curry's got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Wiggins. Knocked loose. It's stolen by MP. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. And the shot is Russell, good by Westbrook. Westbrook. Can't be careless around MP. When you are, he is sure to pick your pocket. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Curry draws the double. And it's Wiseman with the jam. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Westbrook outside. To the middle. Here's Davis. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. And Davis with Anthony the basket. Davis. On the assist from James. James has got three assists tonight. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Here's Curry. And that one hits the back iron. The Lakers in the lead. James finds Westbrook. Back to James. I see him. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. Gets stolen by Heel. It's stolen by James. Pass to Ariza. And here's Westbrook. James with the ball. Guarded by Heel. James double teamed. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Los it's going to be on LeBron James. LeBron. That's his first foul. That's Clay Thompson, he's checked foul. in for heel. Golden State has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Thompson. Curry draws the double. Pass to Thompson. There's the triple. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Thompson's got 23 points. His points are really adding up from the three-point line. He had nine from distance in the first half, and he's only getting better. MP, the pass to Davis. Davis drawing the double team. And again, no good by the Lakers. Golden State has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Plays with a bit of quiet intensity, but Wiggins has shown the ability to rise up in the big moments. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. The Warriors leading. Down low. Here's Kuminga. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. And the Lakers call time here. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the time? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. Think about this. He has owned this game from start to finish. Wow, so impressive. The defense literally looked helpless trying to stop him out there. He has been far and away the best player on the court, and it's not close. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Outside Davis. Clock at six. Here's Ariza. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. 
And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken it. And it's a feel-good night from behind the three-point line, racking up a ton of threes. Now Wiggins from the low block. And Thompson puts it in. Thompson's got 25 points. Well, looking to shoot immediately off the pass, and I don't think he even felt the leather that time. Westbrook outside. Back to James. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got six assists in the game. Golden State calls timeout. Look who's coming out onto the court. Get up on your feet and welcome your Warriors. Kaminga, back to Wiseman, pass to Kaminga. Now here's Curry, Wiggins for three, they get the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. MP finds James, MP outside for Davis. Minute 32 left in the final quarter. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Now just a two-point Warrior lead. Here's Curry. He's off on that one. And Los Angeles the other way now. To the inside. MP. That one's good. This game is all even. MP's got six in the quarter. And these are the moments that MP lives for. Talk about coming up in the clutch. Curry draws the double. And he lays in the alley oop pass. Now that's a textbook alley oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. Here's Ariza, pounded by Wiggins. Back to James. MP up top. Davis, the pass to Westbrook. Six to shoot. Davis with it to take the lead. And connect from downtown. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Love seeing that there. A huge possession. And he nets it. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. The three from Curry. That shot off. MP drives in. Oh, he nails it! Taking initiative on the drive. When MP sees the lane open up, he rips right through it. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. 29 seconds left to play in the fourth. Heels checked in for the Warriors. To the paint. Here's Thompson. And it's in. And that one brings them within one. And that's why this team loves having Clay Thompson. Big shot. And an intentional foul right there. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. And the Lakers have possession. And now we've got an intentional foul. That's his fourth personal foul. Third team foul. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Just how fierce a competitor Russell Westbrook is. He just lays it all out there on the line every single night. 23 seconds left in the game. From the strike. And he sinks it. And he's tied it up. What a shot. He knows he's going to have the ball. And then you feel he's going to come through. He did it there. Thompson against Westbrook. Pass to Davis. Here's Ariza. Oh, no good. We're headed for overtime. Regulation is ended. And... 
Boy, these teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters. Now we're go. headed to overtime. This one should be fun. So Golden State will get the first possession. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. Murray and Thompson are the one on the two. Buddy Heald is out there with Kaminga. And it's Wiseman in at the five down low. Here's MP. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. MP's got 22 points. On offense, MP has been locked in. Just going after shots, hitting them again and again. Thompson outside. Curry with it. He's picked up by Westbrook. They double-team Curry. And another dime for him. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. To the inside. Man, that one's good. Davis. He's got 25. Even though Davis gets bodied just a little bit, he still knocks down the shot right in the defense's face. Pass to Wiseman. Now Curry. The three ball. Pure from three-point range. Curry's got 48. Getting buckets at a critical time. Just give him the ball and let him go to work. And here's MP. Well, overtime basketball, about a minute and a half played. The shot's good. No, oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Thompson outside. Outside heel. Some solid defense from James. The Lakers have got their first three shots to drop in overtime. Davis, the pass to James. Oh, there's the alley! And finished off by Davis. Well, AD defining the word clutch on that one. Huge shot there. About two minutes into OT now. It's been a good one. Pass to Wiseman. Healed on the wing. The three from Thompson. And the Warriors with another three. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. The Lakers have gone a perfect four for four to begin this OT session. Westbrook finds MP. Back to Westbrook. Banked it in off the glass. Westbrook. And he's been demanding the ball in these situations. Westbrook with a chance to put this team away. And a deep three from Curry. And another one. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. And none better. Steph stepping up. What a great feel for the moment. Steph Curry. Bingo. Pass to Davis. Two minutes remaining in overtime. And Davis gets double teamed. Westbrook outside. Just four to shoot. Tipped away. Curry with a steal. Oh, what a fast break for the Warriors. Heels from outside. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Well, Steph Curry, one of the greatest shooters in the history of the NBA, but also a very gifted passer, great at finding his teammates. Plus basket counts. This is you can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And here's Thompson for three. Rebound by the Lakers. James passes to Davis. Down low. MP. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And now it's just a two-point Warrior lead. From 13. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. For Los Angeles, they've got it going here in OT. Seven for seven so far. James with the ball. And he lays it up and in. James has got 26 points. LeBron James, one of the best ever to do it. And he's going for the oop here. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Westbrook drawing the double. Here's Ariza. And he drills the triple. Trevor Ariza has been around the block and seen this before. And the Warriors call time here. They trail by three. 44 seconds left in OT. You are on your feet and welcome your Warriors. 
Here's Curry. Curry draws the double. Here's Wiseman. Oh, no good! Unable to win this run. MP, the pass to James. You gotta be careful once LeBron breaks the seal in the free throw line. There's a lot of power and a lot of muscle coming at you. But usually it ends up with free throws. He gets the first, and that gives him a four point cushion. Good. Getting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. And the Warriors call time here. They're behind by five. And we've got 28 seconds left in the OT period. Seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Puts it up from 12. He connects! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! If you're the D, you cannot let Curry do that to you. Using that handle to get where he wants to go on the floor. So the first one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. He's off on the free throw. Unable to get the second one to drop. And the Warriors with possession. And a deep three from Curry. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. And now they foul and stop the clock. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. Well, every night, the competitive killer instinct of LeBron James makes him as elite as he's been. Of course, a future first ballot Hall of Famer and a lot of gas, it seems, left in the tank for LeBron James. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Good on the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. LeBron James, two shots. gets them both and it's a five-point game breathe easy now the biggest free throws in the game and he's coming through oh Thompson from deep three-point land can't connect from long distance so we see the Lakers get the win here it was touch and go there for a while but in overtime they caught a second win they really did and it was wild everything it took just to get to the extra period and then their surge at the end whew, Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everybody. All right, so how we doing today? Hey man, major props on making the Rising Stars Challenge. Thanks, John. And what does it mean to you and your team to earn this honor? Man, it's big. And it, it says a lot about the guys I've worked with, how far they've helped me come in this short time that I've been here. and. At this level, you need a great team around you to succeed, and I've got that. So I'll be looking forward to going out there and putting on a show for those guys. Speaking of superstars, Jalen Rose told me recently that All-Star Weekend is like the biggest party in all of sports. How much are you looking forward to the hoopla surrounding the games?
You know I love hoopla, John. <laughs> it's true. Man, you're one of the biggest hoopla fans I know. Look, no doubt. I like to get in there and mix it up. See and be seen. Look fresh, act fresh, be fresh. That's my motto. Oh, come on, man. You have to put that on a t-shirt. Look, act, be. Yo, hey, I kind of like that. Could be something that I, I see, you, John. Good looking out. <sighs> All right, I'm good. Thank you, guys. Welcome to today's edition of Top Plays. I'm Lawrence Tan, public address announcer for the Los Angeles Lakers, and I've blocked out my schedule to celebrate your Mobile One Top Blocks. Let's see what you've got for us. Silicosis PR kickstarts us in my career, blocking a shot on one end. Oh, and becoming a defensive problem with the and one on the other. And the bucket is good. Coast to coast impact the Bay Area. Next, we drive into the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, with Razor Mara in my career. Don't let the home crowd go off the ring. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. There it is, the Staples Center in Los Angeles, where we're getting set to bring you all of today's action. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on Two K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. On the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Russell Westbrook has passed the great Oscar Robertson for first overall in career triple doubles. Westbrook says, I just do what you need to do in order to win. My job is to do everything. That's what I do night in and night out, and nobody else does it the same. Simple as that. Kevin, nobody calls a game like you. <laughs> David, you are too nice. Thank you so much. And Westbrook, he is incredible. Thank you, David. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. In at the small and power forward, it's Ingles and Bogdanovich. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. And it's Gobert in at the center position. And for Los Angeles, the two megastars are the big men, LeBron and Davis. MP out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's a reason. In at the three, the small forward. You know, Steve, now that we have some time away from it, how strange and wild were the NBA playoffs in that bubble? I think the wildest part, Kevin, was having players having the same living arrangements. We'll eventually look back and view it as one of the most interesting times in NBA history. Ingles passes to Gobert. Gobert double teamed. Jazz passing it around. And Conley gets it to go. The assist by Mitchell. Conley's got the first points up on the board tonight here for Utah. 
And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. They faced off right here last time they met, but the home club just couldn't pull out the win. Rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. Point blank, this is a bad combination. If you're looking to get stops, Joe that's Eagle. not the way. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Ariza, who's coming off a 13-point game against the Warriors in San Francisco. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Westbrook has an exceptional talent for creating for his guys. He sets them up, and boy, they are knocking them down. Conley against Westbrook. And there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Ingles with the ball. He's picked up by Ariza. Mitchell outside. And the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. So it's Utah now. It's a three-point game, and the foul called on MP. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Jazz. So a James on the bench. This is who Frank Vogel is out there. Russell Westbrook out there with MP. Then it's Anthony Davis. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Morton Tucker in at the small forward. And they call him Spider because of that long wingspan. 6'10 at present. But standing 6'1, Mitchell needs that to compete defensively at that shooting guard position. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Bounce pass from Westbrook. Pass to Davis. All alone. He can't get that one to fall. And Utah the other way now. And we know what Mitchell can do offensively. But, Greg, how do you evaluate his defensive game? Yeah, and, Kevin, without question, there's room for improvement. I'd say he's probably below average, but he has the tools that if he tightens up that part of his game, look out. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks very much. MP in the last game against the Warriors was a big factor. He grabbed 24 points, and his unselfishness with the ball, combined with his defensive activity, made a huge impact. They collected yet another win. He's been a big factor for them, and his team is enjoying that success right now. Everything is looking good right now, Kevin. Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Pass to Horton Tucker. Inside and stolen by Bogdanovich. Mitchell wide open. That ball. Nice feed Mitchell. that time from Bogdanovich. And it's a four-point jazz lead. Lakers have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second quarter. MP, and he drops in the way up off the glass. In the paint, MP moves with a purpose, ensuring he gets by the contact into his shot. Mitchell outside. He dishes it to Bogdanovich. The pass to Mitchell from deep. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. To the inside. Here's MP. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. MP's got four this quarter. He's strong and relentless. MP has no issues playing through contact. 
Mitchell outside. Griffin trying to get open. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist by Conley. Mitchell's got the lead up to six now for the Jams. So the Lakers call timeout. They're first they come in fresh off a win against the Warriors and boy did that game nearly get away from them but they were a little bit fortunate to have survived at the end of regulation Ooh, they were extremely yeah. lucky I think they Jordan took their Martha. opponent for granted a little and it nearly cost them Jordan Clarkson he's checked in for Mike Conley Horton Tucker the pass to Westbrook outside Davis Here's Horton Tucker. He has six. Shot clock at five. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. The rebound by the Jams. Passes it to Griffin. Mitchell outside. And here is Ingles. Taking a look at the scoring numbers right now, he averages about nine points a game. Kicks it to Clarkson. Oh, good with the triple. Lakers trail by six. Down low. Here's Davis. Jordan trying to free himself up. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got seven points in the game. You see the weight that 80s added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Davis against Clarkson. To get up in his Bogdanovich. And here we go with Westbrook running it up the court. Puts it up from 12, and he buries that one, trailing the rim on the way down. Six points for him. What a read by MP. Sees the D out of position, makes the P, and creates a wide open bucket. Mitchell. Here's Griffin, and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And the Jazz lead by four. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now, here's Westbrook. He's got six. Basket, good. MP's got six in the quarter. You love MP's intensity down the paint. He doesn't let the defense throw him off. Evan finds Clarkson. Shot's good. Jordan Griffin Martin making the play. Clarkson's got his first basket of the night. And they've repeatedly closed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. To the middle. Here's MP. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And competition is at the root of all sports. Certainly, sometimes now things get chippy. And as a player, Rick, how do you handle that aspect when emotions and physicality get going Kevin you, you're always taught to control your emotions but easier said than done and in reality sometimes Seems too. you have to man up you have to let it be known that you're not going to accept things and at the same time you got to be smart so the goal is to beat the other team not literally and that one misses you have to respect the passion MP brings to his game day in and day out and he doesn't take nights off or ever give you less than 100%. Los Angeles making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. And Utah with a change here, too. Right side's checked in for Joe Ingles. And the foul called on MP. That's his third foul of the game. Now Mitchell. Had a 24-point outing in their last game against Houston. And it wasn't just the scoring. He also impacted the game on the glass. Terrific all-around effort. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range. And for Westbrook, it's all about staying engaged on defense. Using that athleticism and length to pester shooting. 
off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. Clarkson against MP. Clarkson bounce pass. And it's scrammed in by Whiteside. I'll tell you, Whiteside doesn't have to get too far off the ground to throw it down. At the elbow, it's MP. Put on the bucket. MP's got 11 points. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. To the paint. Here's Whiteside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. When Whiteside gets that massive body moving, very difficult to avoid fouling him. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. LeBron, he's checked in for Taylor Horton Tucker. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Russell Westbrook. James kicks to Anthony. Inside, here's MP. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. That's good for Mitchell on the assist from Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson. And that's now 33 points for Donovan Mitchell. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Jazz. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. And also, how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. And it's Mitchell missing. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Here's MP. Got a piece of it. Great awareness by Bondanovich, working hard to come up with the block. James, the pass to MP. Clarkson against none. And he hits it to tie the game up. Five points in the game. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Pass to Clarkson, fires from deep. The shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Davis dishes to LeBron. Anthony, the pass to Nunn. In the corner, it's James. And he banks in the lane. James has got seven. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings. The most all-time. It would surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Jazz trail by four. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. It's stolen by Anthony. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the need to really get after it defensively and show that. Watch film on every person I'm guarding. Defense travels. Offense comes and goes. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied, and I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. Now, here's none. Following the miss by Hassan Whiteson. Fader on the way. Davis, Gobert with the defensive effort. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D, just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Clearing out space. Hassan Whiteside with a nice rebound in traffic. Now what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? They've gotten a lot of high-quality shots in the paint early on. That was clearly part of their game plan coming in. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. Trevor Ariza's checked in for the Lakers. Monk comes in for MP. That one misses for Whiteside. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Gets it to go. That one good from none. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint 
between the two teams. And the Jazz call time here. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Jazz trail by four. Now here is Conley. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. I like how he absorbed contact. Rudy Gay with the body control to finish through it. Here's none after Rudy Gay's bucket. Gobert with the block, and he recovers it. Pass to a reason. Another shot. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Los Angeles. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Jazz trail by four. A minute 20 left to play here in the half. Conley's shot is off. Los Angeles has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Good on the triple. What a game for him so far. He started out strong in that first quarter and has only turned it up from there. Now here is Conley, and the layup is good. You no, know, he left him frozen. The quick move by Mike Conley. Beautiful. None passes to LeBron. On the line, Gobert with the block. Clarkson outside. There's the pass to Gobert. And James pulls it down. Lakers leading by five. High post, Davis over O'Neal. And that one hits back iron. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Clarkson. Basket made just his second this contest. He's two for seven now. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pain. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Here's James. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And once LeBron gets the ball in the painted area, the force he plays with, it's hard not to foul him. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. And the first one at the line is good. You love what LeBron James brings on the court, off the court, in the community. His contributions are always front and center. And James drills them both. Conley with it. From deep. And that one released in time, but no good. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Lakers ahead, leading by five. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half.
second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. So on the floor for Utah. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. In at the small and power forward, it's Ingles and Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. This is the danger Davis possesses to defenses, capable of erupting at any moment. Conley feeling it out. On the wing, Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Utah needs to get off a shot here. But 10-footer. Tries again. And Gobert kicks to Ingles. It's good from long range. Ingles has got seven points in the game. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. And the shot goes down. And the Lakers lead by six. What unselfish play from LeBron. You can tell he wants to get everyone involved. To the middle. Puts it up from seven. Gobert can't hit. Very cold start to the second half. One for five. Looking for some continuity. Westbrook against Gobert. 11 feet away. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Westbrook. And it's an eight-point Laker lead. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Now here's Conley, the fast break opportunity. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And the Jazz, another three. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Well, he wasn't a burger chain All-American or a one-and-done college star, but Donovan Mitchell's rapid emergence in the NBA has caught many by surprise. You know, G.A., the first rookie ever to lead a playoff team in scoring. He was handed the keys right away, but he's not satisfied. He still wants more. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky. And he was off. And the basket by MP. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Conley gets the bucket. And that's where Conley is most dangerous. Just amazing quickness on his way to the rack. And the Lakers call time here. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants Reeves. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Look who's coming under the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girls. All right. Look who's coming under the court. Get loud. Here they are. Your Laker girls. Here's Westbrook. He has six. It's Ariza on the wing. MP up top. Conley against Westbrook. Here's MP. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got assist number eight here in this one already. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Conley against James. 
Here's Ingles. Gobert trying to get open. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Ariza outside. Passes it to James. Kicks it out to Ariza. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And what a great start to the second half. They've hit everything they've looked at thus far. Westbrook against Conley. Mitchell outside. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Mitchell's got 39. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They've led by as much as 10. Outside Westbrook. Ariza outside. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Jazz trail by 10. Has to go big. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Takes the three. And James pulls it down. LeBron's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by MP. MP's got three assists in the game. Conley against Westbrook. To the inside, Mitchell. Nice pass. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Mitchell's got 41. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. But it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Jazz trail by 12. Here's Conley. He's got six. Trying to get open is Bogdanovich. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Here's MP. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. They get a hand on it. And stolen by MP. All going up court. And the tuck by LeBron. Anytime you can get LeBron something right at the rim, that's good offense. Jazz have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold for the field. Utah calls timeout. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. with some changes. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Davis. Anthony comes in for Trevor Ariza. And Taylor Horton Tucker subbed in for MP. Then for the Jazz, Whiteside's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Gay comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Mitchell. And the shot goes in. Conley. Conley's got eight. One of Conley's calling cards, getting into the paint and converting, even though he's often the smallest guy on the floor. Here's Horton Tucker. He's got six. Westbrook double team. Howard's shot is good. Howard's got his second basket of the night. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Clarkson passes to Whiteside. Conley kicks to Clarkson. Whiteside, high post. Second shot opportunity. The shot, no good. And the Lakers take it the other way. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. And there's the ferociousness. Got to enjoy Westbrook taking flight and slamming it down there with authority. Now, here's Clarkson. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. LeBron with the block. They get it back. Merciless swap by LeBron. There are no easy looks when King James was on you. 
A shot's good from Westbrook. Hey guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Contested shots and block shots. That's been their bread and butter defensively, giving up no easy looks. Yeah, well also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. Here's Clarkson following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Anthony looking it over. Outside Westbrook. Three-pointer on the way. Rebound, Utah. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Clarkson. And sent back by Howard. And Howard takes his shot blocking very seriously. Skying up and sending him back with his impressive bird. Yep, that one goes. Brooks got eight points in the quarter. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Conley finds Clarkson, trying to get something going. That's in there. Jordan Conley with the assist. Conley's got his eighth assist in the game. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Here's Horton Tucker. He's got six. Five to shoot. The three from Anthony. Buries the long-range jumper. And Anthony is certainly capable of sinking the triple. The D has to respect that quick release and get out on it. Conley, the pass to get. And it's sent back by Howard. Who's back up. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. And in every since halftime, they play precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. Gay trying to break free. Ingles can't get it to go. And it's Anthony with the ball for Los Angeles. Down low. And the dunk by LeBron. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. This is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Sinks the triple. Jordan Parsons got five points now this quarter. Man, that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. Timeout called the Lakers. And Kevin, how about his basketball journey? Taking him from Australia to Spain, then Israel, before finally landing in the NBA at age 27. But Joe Ingles, boy, was well worth the wait. All right. Kendrick Nunn, he's checked in for Jalen Horton. Jazz substitution. Baseline, baseline. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Anthony. Good, and the assist goes to MP. And he grew up playing Australian rules football, and Ingles not afraid to mix it up. And early in his career, guys would look to attack him one-on-one, -on -one, but they learned the hard way. He's long, active, and uses anticipation about as well as anybody. So with LeBron on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. Anthony out there with Davis. Then it's MP. Then it's Trevor Ariza. And it's none in at the two guard. Here's Mitchell after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Gobert trying to get open. The shot by Mitchell, no good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end, yet they continue to lead. The dish to Gobert. It's O'Neal atop the key. Hey, yo, right here. Back to Gobert. Five on the clock, over MP, and he gets it back. Basket counts. Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got four points in the quarter. On the boards, Gobert is unstoppable, easily winning himself a second chance look. MP kicks to Davis. 
Here's Nunn going inside. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Clarkson against Nunn. A shot by Clarkson. No good. Lakers leading by 22. Davis, the pass to MP. Rebounded by Clarkson. For Utah, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. And Mitchell gets it to go. Great to see Mitchell on a roll offensively. And you know his team is loving it too. Here's MP following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. None passes to MP. Tipped away. And it's out of bounds. It was touched by Mitchell. The Jazz is making a switch here. Ingles is checked in. The Jazz, Joe Ingles. MP outside. Just five on the clock. Davis dishes to MP. Ariza outside. And they'll turn it over. You could not get off a shot before second violation. And with the offense we've been seeing throughout the league this year, Steve, what are the chances someone breaks the Suns' record of 107 points and a half? Wow, Kevin. We saw the Warriors put up 92 and a half a few years back. But that's still 15 points short. I think a team like the Warriors, the Brooklyn Nets, a few of them, if they get going from behind the three-point line, it's possible. And the basket is good. MP's got 14 points here in the second half. That's their third straight make off an assist. Westbrook against Mitchell. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from Davis. To the inside. MP. Ingles with the rebound. Jazz have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. It's stolen by Davis. Westbrook with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Anthony Davis is showing us he's a shot maker in this league. He's the guy you want to get the ball to. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Utah Jazz. And the Jazz call time here. And Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. So he's checked in for Jordan Clarkson. And Gobert kicks to Ingles. We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Greg. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path, and I, and I don't think the same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? You're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, aren't in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft. And that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. In this era of stretch bigs, many traditional centers have struggled, but Rudy Gobert just continues to thrive at both ends. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I play, but if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is, and you have to adapt and adjust, and that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. But at the end of the day, you still got to get after it defensively. Now, here's Mitchell following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. Mitchell with the bounce pass. And slam dunk by Gobert. 
Donovan because Mitchell. he attracts so much defensive attention, Donovan Mitchell often finds teammates all along. MP against Ingles. Utah with the rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Mitchell. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. Mitchell. What you love about Donovan Mitchell, not only does he explode into his moves, he finishes with authority. And the Lakers call time here. And the 6'8", Boyan Bogdanovich consistently among the league's top three-point marksmen. You're right, Kevin. Consistent is the right word. Listen to this. Since his fourth season in the NBA, he's never averaged below 38% from distance. That shot must be honored. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Ken Bazemore comes in for Anthony. And Monk's subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Now, here's Monk. Haskell with the steal. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. The shot's good on the assist by Engel. Butler's got his first three points of the game. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Here's Monk to the paint. Four on the clock. MP finds Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. We've seen a lot of that through the years. AD getting to the rim and finishing with bad intentions. And it's Conley penetrating. And that one, good. You know, as ice cold as he was in the first half, that's how hot he has been since the break. No one can match up with him right now. MP passes to a reason. Here's Monk. And he drives in. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 19. And how committed is Monk there on the attack to the rim? Well, when he puts it on the deck, he's looking to take it all the way. Now here's Conley. Haskell's shot is off. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Monk dishes to MP. Haskell against Davis. He kicks to Monk. He feeds it to MP. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And playing with the lead, you can see him making a much more concerted effort to work the ball inside here in the second half. And the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you get fined if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. Jacks up a three. Kept alive. Here's Bogdanovich. Good D by Westbrook. Los Angeles leading by 21. Ariza outside. Pass to Davis. Outside Westbrook. The pass to Carmelo. Ariza kicks to Westbrook. Driving in, and Westbrook throws it down. And the level of focus Westbrook has. Excellent at taking on the challenge and willing his way through the contact. Now here is Conley. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. And the shot no good, a bit short. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Lakers. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat fight with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed to take the second of a three-game season series. No question that's a morale booster. Just a quality win, and, and you look at the box score and some really good numbers for Russell Westbrook. 
An all-around dominant performance. Only certain guys can do this. Complete control. Three phases of the game. Congrats. A triple-double. Lakers working the ball around now. Out to Anthony. Over Bogdanovich. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Now here is Conley. Here's Mitchell. No one near Conley as he lets it go. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. And you got to like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. And finished off by Davis. Impressive job by the players, the coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. It's a lot of chatter about MP being a rookie of the year contender. But guess what? I don't see it. He's put together a decent stretch or two, but that's film on him now. Real film I'm talking about, not that fake YouTube. As the season goes on, people are going to game plan for him, shut down what he's good at. Is he willing to put in the work to improve his weaknesses and counters? Not in my opinion. I think MP's going to wilt in the second half of the season. I just don't see it with him.